Hi everyone, thank you for your patience. Uh, it's been a little bit busy down here uh, and so I'm, I apologize if I haven't got around to um, doing one of these videos where I have decorated some of my pages. So what I thought it would be a mini flip through because I haven't obviously finished it but I have started like the first book. So as you can see it's getting pretty chunky and uh, I must say I've had a ball with this book so um, I think it's because um, I'm not thinking too much I'm just putting down what I've got and see if it works if it doesn't that's fine and that's how I've um, approached this uh, journal so I hope you have uh, tried um, uh, doing this this journal and if you have I'll be really interested to know what you think of it and is there any improvements or is there anything that we can do uh, better so this is my first page uh, so I've got this pocket here and I've had a couple of envelopes uh, that I'm, st I'm sticking in here um, and this page happened to be something that I've had ripped out of a book and I didn't know what to do with it but I think it sits really nicely here. And these um, uh, words, they actually came from Debbie and these envelopes as well. So uh, Debbie, I'm really using a lot of the stuff that you've given me and they, I can tell you not, uh, they, they are not going to waste at all. Uh, and so I decided to uh, do the background first. That's what I did. And then I started decorating it. And this time with my book, I wanted to specifically practice on my hand lettering. And hence, you can see some of these. I've been trying to do that. I'm not great at it, but how are you going to be great or good or better? It is by practice. And because it's nice and small, I'm using scraps to actually handwrite. It's um, it's. It's okay. If I don't like it, then I don't have to put it in. I don't know if you noticed this. This was uh, one of the envelopes that I made in one of my other videos. And guess where it's going to go in here. And I might even put something in there. So that's going in there. And I love this. So it's definitely eclectic. Uh, taking bits and pieces from uh, magazines, from... Um, you know, hand lettering to um, using um, these are uh, like lace types. So that came from uh, Debbie. And um, again, you know, trying to do my hand lettering here. So uh, a little bit of layering, not a lot because it gets pretty chunky pretty soon. Uh, this one here, uh, again, I've got some doily here. Uh, these cards were from uh, Debbie and some of this paper as well. And this one came in the post registered. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to put it in there. It's interesting, right? Because people put postage stamps and whatnot. So that looks interesting. So it's just going to go on there. And I did some hand lettering here. I didn't really like it. So it's just going to go underneath and the envelope on top. Uh, just to hide it a little bit so that I don't get <laughs> precious about it and just annoying sometimes. Uh, I haven't done fully finished this one. Again, I'm using some of the stuff that Debbie gave me and um, just to use it as a background. So what I've done actually from the start uh, and I'm making my way through is to do the backgrounds. So here I would obviously finish and put stuff on it. Uh, but I'm, I just prepared the background. As I said to you before uh, in my other video, you won't really see the lines because I'm going to cover it up anyway. So that's some of these ones. And can you see the tag here? So that was the fabric that was left over and I've used that as tags. And some of these, I love putting tags on my pages. This is an interesting one. I had an idea because um, I would like to do some scripture um, meditating and just thinking about some of the things uh, that I've been studying about. 
and I thought that I could use it, use my post-it notes as well as little scrap papers to make this. So what I what the idea came to mind was a bit like a pin board. Uh, so this is the idea I had and using up these papers and putting them in here. So rather than throwing it away, it becomes a bit of a, a collection. And I think most of, of uh, the stuff that I'll be putting in here are quotes and my some of my thoughts that I've done while meditating and thinking about uh, the scripture verses and and what God has spoken to me about. Uh, a few of those things might actually end up here like this. Uh, I'm, I've not finished this and again it's very eclectic. Uh, I'm going to put a few quotes in here. Uh, don't you love the Australian mushroom bag? So that was from Coles. Uh, Debbie good on you for getting that for me. And um, some of these book pages, they're lovely and I love this, this, that paper, oh, the texture, I can feel it, it's beautiful. So I'm looking forward to filling up this, but I just want to show you just a flip through of what it looks like. So my background pages, uh, really I don't have any particular way as long as it sits together. I am going to put things on top. And here that was really nice i read something about tears and you know what um one of the other things that i'll be putting in here are some information or things like that that is really interesting that i will probably keep in here and that came from a magazine a gardening magazine about pressing flowers which you know it's it's one of the things that i like doing and these were ikea tags and this was a a printable which I was testing out a printable and it didn't work out but I like the the I like the font on there as well as how the calendar is like that and I decided to put that in so instead of throwing it in the bin this is definitely like junk right and music shade obviously is absolutely wonderful and that's this part here that actually was the off cut of my um, Daphne Diaries. You know, when I made that Daphne Diaries uh, journal, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, have a look. So it's to cover my cereal box and making it into a journal. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's in the playlist, have a look. That's a, just a different way of making a journal. Now, this was the off cut from that project. And you know, you don't waste anything in junk journaling. And this is the same. This is my calendar, which I have used, but I really like the pattern. Very, very Australian. The pattern on the top. And I've decided to just cut it out and just complete this page. And this one here is uh, all the stamping from Debbie. And that is really nice. And you know what? It looks really plain. But when I finish with it, it will not be plain. This is uh, the music shade, which is absolutely lovely. And again, they're off cuts. Uh, these, are, these are also, okay, this is from Daphne Diaries, but I couldn't use this one because it was quite a thick card and decided to put it in here. This is, looks like some stamping from Debbie using the, I think, rub-ons on here. And this was also an off-cut from the world map and atlas. This was from Debbie and I just love how this was from the Daphne Diaries. And it's, that's just really, to me, it's stunning art. Like someone could paint like that. And that's, the other one is this one here. And I have some information, as I said, that's something that um, I'm intending to keep. So it's about the lady that actually paints these pictures. So that's one of the other ones. Uh, and that's the information. And it's going in here. So I think that's what I will do with some of my pockets. When I find interesting information that I want to keep, I think it will go in my pockets. And this, and this, 
and this actually came from the office works um, uh, catalog you know that they have they had in the shop and so I just cut out whatever was inspiring that I saw in that catalog um, and the last one so I haven't actually done any of these but I'm apart from actually gluing remember this is actually I forgot to tell you this is actually the the uh, cover the back cover of the first exercise book and the front cover of the next exercise book and I used the other uh, painting of Indefini Diaries to put in here uh, and I was thinking look at how thick the book is I don't know if the spine is going to be able to handle the amount of papers what I might have to do is to remove some of the papers for these ones so that it's not as chunky and this came from my Easter egg, my Easter bunny. And I'm not sure if I'll keep it there, but for now, I'm just going to leave it there as a dangle. So there you go. That's my little flip through. Let me know what you think. And if you have started this and what are some of the modifications you've done, uh, I'm, I'm interested to know. Uh, please feel free to comment and to like and see you in the next video. Take care guys. Bye.